Hello, Aries. This is your reading where one door closes in your life and a new door opens because of all the eclipses we've been having, you know, the solar and lunar eclipses. So this is the energy that will probably last for the next six months, or at least well, sometimes it, you know, happens all at once. But this is for Aries, sun, moon, and rising, those belonging to the zodiac sign of Aries. As you know, it will not resonate with everybody, but I am trying to get the main energy for everyone. Let's see what's going on here. I um, always look for a positive reading, but if we don't get one, you know, we work through it. We keep it real, though. We keep it honest, okay? Let's see what's going on for Aries. What are they closing? What are they opening? Ace of Swords, going forward, passionately and powerful. You got uh, Mars going through your sign, so you're going to be very powerful in nature all the way through, um, speaking your truth. Current environment or the subject at hand for you right now is the Eight of Swords. Some of you are feeling a little trapped and bound and feel like you can't get free of something. But the story with the Eight of Swords, okay, the story with the Eight of Swords is it's a mental type energy where it's, you can get out of it. You just don't feel like you can, okay? That's the story with that. What's crossing it? The Emperor. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's you that's having troubles with yourself, you know, or it could be, um, trying to regain control in your life with the emperor because that's your card you know getting that for a lot of people the hierophant was crowning you with a goal conformity society what is expected of you um what society puts on you you're maybe you're trying to conform to the new ways of life you know it could be that some of you are aspiring to teach people. Maybe you are a healing type teacher. I'm getting a lot of light worker energy lately too. But you're you're becoming very more forceful and powerful either way. The foundation of what's going on is the moon. Maybe I'm just not seeing the way it is right now. It could have to also do with the eclipse. This is what's going to change the situation. For some of you, you may have been deceived before or, you you know, with the situation. Or like I said, I'm seeing you just not seeing things clearly because of that Eight of Swords energy that I just picked up. In the past, the, her the hermit, trying to come out of hermit mode, trying to become coming out of stagnation. And, you know, I'm going to clarify these because this is just a canvas, you know, the first entry I, or the first um, spread I put out. And then I clarify it. it makes it real interesting and gives us more information. Plus, I'll be giving you a pick a pile, pick an energy um, card reading, you know. And I also will be pulling a light purpose card because it's the eclipses and we have like a, a purpose in what we're supposed to do also or something that could get us through it all. So let's say... Very near future, messages of stability coming in. You may be sending these, you may be getting these. For some of you, you could be dealing with the earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, I will clarify. Possible future outcome and advice from the universe is the Empress. You may have blessings come in, but they may be delayed or, or you may feel like they're not coming in. The energy could be that some of you may be putting off growing a family because of the energies that are surrounding you because you're feeling trapped. Maybe some of you are feeling like you don't have enough money. Maybe some of you are wanting to start a family or maybe in the next six months it may not be exactly the best time for you or maybe that you should. I got to clarify. I got to find out because that could be all kind of things. Could be a little bit of a delay also. What is coming towards you or the outside environment out there? Um, is the Seven of Cups. There's not a whole lot of offers out there that, you know, that maybe you were getting before. Maybe all the offers that you're getting, you just don't like what's out there. I will clarify. Your hopes and fears is to work on something that you're passionate about with the Nine of Wands, something you want to take on that you're willing to take on or hard work, you know, that you're wanting in your life. And a lot of you, this has to do with work. In the end, you're going to be dealing with the King of Cups energy, Pisces, I mean, um, Aries. I think it's going to be like a Pisces type energy. But the King of Cups has got the crown on a very emotionally sound. You can take on this energy, even though you're Aries. You can take on this um, more stable outlook in life. But I'm going to clarify these because I see where you're trapped up. And I see the moon there, which could be deceptions. And i got to clarify that. Plus, I want to see what the Empress is all about. Um, it is in reverse, but that could be just a delay on the situation. 
the closing of the door out is um, closing out of feeling trapped. Shut that door. That door is going to shut where you feel trapped, and you will not feel trapped anymore. I about guarantee it. The way the um, astrology is going. So I got, I need two cards for Aries, please. Oops, someone's oh, they all want to come out. They can't all come out. We all know they all relate. I need two cards for the Swords energy and the Emperor. Two cards, please. Eight of Swords. That is the Eight of Swords. Yeah, you're being very careful or you're having trouble taking a leap of faith, but you're going for your overall wealth and Ten of Pentacles. You may very well get it. You've got the energy coming up to do it, okay? What is crowning you with the goal is conformity. Going by society standards. You yourself may become a teacher. Go before a teacher. Um, preacher. I need two cards, please, for the Hierophant and the Upright is what crowns you for your goal. So it's definitely your energy that's coming in with the Emperor. I'm seeing the Emperor and the Hierophant, someone who is definitely maybe going to be a leader in some way. So I need two cards, please, for Aries, for the Hierophant. Taking control. Yeah, dropping an unhappy home situation and um, dropping the negativity and taking control of it. Because that's the uh, four, of wand, four of Wands with the Two of Pentacles, both in reverse. So it's like you're going to not, not consider the negativity of a family situation or a home situation or where you're not happy. So you're going to go for what's going to make you happy, your, your purpose in life in some ways. But you're not seeing things clearly. I guess you're still haven't seen the way you know you haven't you're not seeing the way just yet so you've got the moon as a foundation not knowing which way to turn not knowing which steps you should take again um, or go for so the moon in the upright I need two cards for Aries yeah you, you're not seeing clearly the wheel of fortune you're still feeling trapped but you are going to turn your luck around so the thing that, like I said, with that Eight of Swords, you got to take the blinders off and um, feeling like nothing's going to happen that's going to be good. you got to put that from your mind. You will put that from your mind because you're closing that door and your luck will change once you do that. You know, um, don't feel like you got to have that I can um, motivation instead of I can't, you know, going against you. you got to turn the, your thought process around. In the past, you got the hermit. The hermit is in reverse. You're trying to come out of being stagnant, um, um, having to stay home for a lot of us, you know? So the hermit in reverse. I need two cards, please, for Aries. Yeah, you're definitely thinking about working towards something else because life, for some reason, brought you an injustice, you know, fought, you know, things out of control. And you're going to be like, shutting the door out of all that things that weren't out of control, the things that weren't working out. You're going to shut that door and start something else, work towards something else to change your luck around. Now you got the Page of Pentacles there. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. It could be messages of stability. You could be getting this, sending this, or getting messages. But I need two cards for the Page of Pentacles in the very near future for Aries. Two cards, please. You're definitely dealing with the Pentacles energy, or they could have a lot of Pentacles in their um, chart, you know, their astrology chart. It could be like a lot of Earth in their chart. But you're going to get a message or something like that, <clears throat> possibly from an Earth sign. And you're going to think it's a little manipulative, or you don't trust it. Or they're going to think you're a little manipulative and they don't trust it. But I do see you getting a stable message. I do see your luck changing. I do see you taking control over maybe a manipulative situation also to get your Ten of Pentacles. Let's see what the Sun Force is about. Like I said, it could be a delay in blessings or growth. Or it could be that you're hold off on starting a family for some of you. But it doesn't, it doesn't mean it's not going to happen. It means you may say, well, i got to do this first for some of you. Or i could, I got to complete this first. But I need two cards for the Empress in reverse, please, for Aries. <clears throat> 
Seven of Swords energy in reverse and regaining strength. Yeah, you may be holding off on, yeah, you're going forward passionately. You're going really quickly forward to just something else. But you may hold off on starting something with a family situation because um, the world is not a good place. For some of you, you may have felt someone is going to be, you know, underhanded because I do see the magician in reverse. And so you may hold off on a situation so you can regain strength in it all. I do see you moving forward pretty quickly and changing your situation up. It'll be different for everybody, but I do see you going for your overall Ten of Pentacles. And what's that well, being offered to you from the outside world that's causing all this? Things that you don't like, things that you don't want. So the Seven of Cups in reverse. I need two cards, please. Where are these? You're definitely getting a message. Ace of Swords, there it is again. Wow. You're you're they all you got a lot of there are a lot of things outside in the world that no one's wanting, that no one's liking, that you feel like that are not for you. You feel like things are manipulative, things are sneaky, things are on the up and up all the time. But you're gonna get a really forceful message or passionate message or a new beginning that's pretty forceful. Um, not in a negative way, okay? It's going to give you a lot of energy. Like I said, I see that coming with the Page of Pentacles, with a message. So even though the world is manipulative and the things you don't like that are, that are happening around the world, you're going to start some, working on something new that's going to give you your overall wealth, and you're going to be able to take that blindfold off. But your hopes and fears is the Nine of Wands, and the Nine of Wands is about working towards something you're wanting to work for, you know, work hard towards. So the Nine of Wands and the hopes and fears. I need two cards, please. Two cards. Looks like you're going to do that, too. Yeah, putting your swords down, being able to see things clearly, and um, you're just not going to... That's just, uh, basically like the... Um, Six of Pentacles, where you're not going to do any give and take with people that, you, that you're going to possibly block out of your life. You're going towards something else. But I don't see you working towards people or helping people that did not help you. Let me put it that way. Um, you're not going to just do a little give and take unless someone um, does their part. Let me put it that way. In the end, you got the um, King of Cups. It can be like a Piscean type energy, or it could be like you know a water sign, or becoming more in control of your emotions, or dealing with this person in general. They may be a little bit older. It could be male or female, by the way. Okay, so the King of Cups in the very end for Pisces. I mean, yeah, Pisces. A lot of you to be dealing with a Pisces. That's all there is to it, because I'm looking at it. But you're going to be dealing with this person, Aries. So I need two cards, please, for Aries. I almost can't get Pisces out of my mind. I need two cards, please, for Aries. Yes, you're going to be dealing with this person. Some of you, yeah, you're going for your happily ever after. You're, you're going to be dealing with this person. You're going to be walking away from one situation that caused you abandonment and, and not feeling like yourself. For some of you, you may walk away from... The, um, a type of Piscean energy, like I said, a water sign. But I think you're, re in the way I'm feeling it, you're regaining um, more control, emotional control, and leaving out, walking away from things that did not pan out. And you're going, working towards something else. You're going towards your happily ever after. You're working hard with the Ten of Pentacles, going for your overall wealth. The door you're shutting are the things that cause you anxiety, injustices, that made you feel trapped, that were manipulative, that you saw that were manipulative, but new things are coming in. So you're shutting the door to manipulative um, negative situations, and you're opening up the door for working hard and walking away from things that did not serve you or pan out for you. And like I said, for some of you, you're going to be dealing with a water sign or you yourselves are going to be taking on an emotional energy that is sound and stable and you have a lot more control. Like I said, some of you will be leaders. Some of you can be leaders if you want to, or you will lead a situation in some way. Now I'm going to give you a love reading. Let me clear, clean this up. I'll be right back. I'm going to do a pick three and I'll be pulling a life purpose card. Like I said, let me clean this up. I'll be right back. Okay, Aries, this is your love reading. Aries, sun, moon, and rising. Pick a pile, pick an energy for Aries. What, what, what door are they closed when it comes to love and what are they opening in their lives? Aries, sun, moon, and rising. I need three cards for the pick three. 
pick a pile, excuse me, pick a pile. But Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Keep on um, thinking of Pisces still. You know what? Mars just came out of Pisces and going into Aries. That could be it too. But that's just the energy. Because like, why is that in my head? I can't get it out of my head. Let's see what's going on here. You need uh, answers from the angels. What do the angels need to tell you about your love life or about love in general for um, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. I'm going to say Pisces again. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising. New energies. Positive energies, hopefully, when it comes to shutting one door and opening up another for love. Pick three or pick a pile. I need three cards for the pick a pile. I want to get three cards from the eighth house tarot, the house of secrets, the house of sexuality, and the eighth house tarot, sun, moon, and rising, new energies, positive energies from the eighth house tarot, hopefully concerning love. When one door closes, a new door opens for Aries. And I'm going to also, like I said, pull a light purpose card. It could tell you what you could be doing for the next six months as a light purpose type energy. Sometimes they're vague and sometimes they're really, you know, not vague. They're very interesting. I've been doing a lot of light worker like readings. I've been, you know, tuning into them a lot lately. And for some of you, we'll be teaching something also. But I need three cards for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising for their light purpose, please. If you don't like watching me shuffle, I do it so you don't see I pre-pick them. But you can also always fast forward. That's what I do with people, especially if they blah, blah too much. <laughs> um, so pick a pile, what energy you are, you know, feel compelled to choose. And then, I, you know, that'll be as strong as energy. But I pull them all together for secondary energies as a second reading. So you can watch that, too, of how it relates to you all the way around. I gotta pull a soulmate card for this one. For those that pick this pile, you are dealing with a soulmate per, per, person in your life or whatever. You know, um, this is your soulmate, okay? Whoever you are dealing with or will be dealing with in the next six months. If you're unsure about this person or they have you a little confused, um, go to people around you, your friends. Your friends will help you. And you also may um, actually meet this person again if you haven't already through a friend, okay? They will help your friends and the people around you will help you meet this person. They could be a king of earth. It can be an earth sign for some of you, earth, fire. Um, this also could, you could take on this energy, you know, being, you know, who you need to be. It could be fit, male or female. But a lot of times when people see this, this is the ultimate um, spouse that you want card. They're going to be there for the long haul. And there is the card again, spiritual teacher. I did say a lot of you may do this. It could be something small, something that you're um, experienced with. Um, you will heal somebody else by your teaching. So maybe you, mean some of you are a YouTuber. Maybe some of you... Um, may start a class in some way online. They have those online. But um, you're going to be meeting your soulmate, maybe even through teaching. And like I said, they could be like a type earth energy, um, someone very stable that stays around for the long haul, or this could be your energy also. But I'm thinking is your soulmate type card. You probably will meet them through people around or through helping others through teaching. So think about it. Just think about it, okay? Don't, don't you know... Thumb, thumb your nose at it just yet because it may you may actually see it pan out. I will pull a soul mate card for that. Now, those of you who picked this pile, family, family issues need to be healed. I do see that four of wands in reverse as like the goal trying to turn a situation around. Healing family issues. Say no to things that do not serve your family. Say don't be afraid to say no to situations that don't bring in healing, negativity. You can shut a door. You can say no and you can heal yourself when it comes to family or a lover type situation that does not bring in healing because you need to be healing yourself and your family right now. So don't be afraid to step out and say no. I don't think you will because Mars is going to your sign. Um, you got the high priestess, the moon type card. Trust your intuition that you are right and that things will work out in your family situation if you um, take control, which a lot of you will be doing. And for a life purpose or what you should be doing is maybe some yoga, meditation, 
by uh, stretching and exercising to heal a situation, to heal yourself. So you can heal a love situation. Because it's got you um, maybe, you know, feeling trapped and you feel like bound. So do some yoga, trust in your higher self and your intuition, and knowing that you're right, that you can heal your family, you can heal your situation when it comes to love. And know, know you can say no to a negative situation and close that door and open up a new one by healing yourself. Like I said, I'm going to bring these together. Don't go away yet. Yeah, I'm definitely going to pull a, a couple of past life cards. You are in a soulmate relationship, a past life relationship. Reconsider is saying, um, if because you may have not have met this person yet, even though they are a past life person. Um, reconsider when they come up to you because you may not want to accept them right away because you're doing other things. Four of Earth, they will bring in wealth and long-term stability. And for a lot of you, you could be counseling with others or be a counselor or giving good advice to others in the next six months. Um, I do see you being very um, vocal in the very near future and putting your energy forward. Um, a lot, putting these cards together, I'm, I'm believing all of you are dealing with a past life person or will be um, to heal. Well, first of all, let's get the uh, soulmate cards because i got to bring them all together in the first pile. And like I said, we're going to bring them all together because I do think it's relating to every single one of you that you're dealing with a soulmate. So I need a card for the soulmate card in the first pile. What is that to them? Sometimes they're vague and sometimes they're very, very um, interesting. So I need a soulmate card for Aries. One card, please, for Aries. Orphan. High Priestess. I've been seeing that a lot. You got that here, too. Um, so this could be over to this also. This person may have been orphaned. You may have been an orphan in a past life, and they felt very left, left out and abandoned. So now they're coming into this life to... Um, rectify the situation to heal the situation. So you'll be meeting this person that's feeling very lonely, doesn't have a lot of family. Usually they, from whatever happens in the past life, they bring over into this life. So they're kind of loners. Um, they could be very um, mysterious, secretive, and also you may have to trust in your intuition when this person comes along. I am going to pull a, uh, two cards for the past life relationship cards. I may pull a life for the um, this one, but I think these all relate to this middle from this middle one also. I'm feeling it. But this past life card, I need a past life card for this past life relationship to tell us more. You may actually meet this person while you're teaching or counseling. You may counsel them also. Love life. They were definitely someone you were very much in love with in a past life. And something happened that did not allow you to finish off something. Yeah, the health. Maybe your health failed or their health failed. But these per people, when they come back, and I'm bringing these all together, because I do believe they fit all together, that you will be healing family issues in a situation, and you'll be closing out one thing that was negative in your life that brought you um, uh, feeling trapped. And to get you through this for the next six months to relax because your energy is going to be very high. Go into some yoga. That's just something you should be doing. Um, yoga or meditation or something like that. And trust your intuition. Um, your intuition is going to be very strong um, for the next six months. You've got a soulmate coming in. All of you do. I'm feeling that. The soulmate situation. And it could be from you helping this. You know, you meet them from helping people. Or, you know, maybe this person will help you or the friends around you. Like I said, they could be a king of earth energy. It could be male or female. Your life purpose, you're going to be um, healing uh, people through your teachings. And it could be just about anything. So you may want to start a class, a little seminar. It could be anything. It could be YouTube. they got classes online you can actually teach. This person you're going to be meeting as a soulmate is they don't have a lot of family, okay? Or maybe their family abandoned them or they feel very um, isolated in some way. They be, will be uh, very mysterious and maybe you are also, but I also see that your intuition will tell you you know this person. Like I said, a lot of you need to heal from past life situations, or not, yeah, past life situations, but also what you're closing a door on. And know that you're doing something right. Don't be afraid to say no, even though I know you will not be because, you know, Mars going into your sign. Like I said, you're dealing with this past life person. They are coming in. So reconsider before you straight out tell them no, because some of you may feel a little unnerved 
Um, cause oftentimes when we meet our soulmate, we, it unnerves us a little, or we feel like we know them forever, but it unnerves us because of this. We, you may like put them off from you a little bit, uh, but reconsider before you turn them down because it could bring in a lot of abundance when it comes to financial stability. You'll be able to uh, um, take in more finances and stability in your life. Um, you may counsel this person or they may counsel you. I think it's going to be you um, talking to this person to help heal them because they did go through an abandonment issue. They were the love of your life at one time. And maybe something happened that the, the thing that happened that kind of separated you with a, was a health issue and things were left unsaid. And now it's revisited for all of you. But first you must heal and put away the negative situation so this person can come in without you putting up, you know, sores or putting your hand up and, you know, um, not trusting the situation is to trust it. And know that you possibly could meet them through yoga, spirituality, and counseling. This is the life purpose which you should be going into, if anything. Okay, so I'm going to let this go, and I will talk to you later, okay? Bye.